from Rhinebeck. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wolf fumes. Yeah, wolf fumes. We've got them. Today is October 22nd, 2012, episode 12. And I would like to welcome back viewers who have watched us before and are coming back and thank you and also welcome new viewers. Hi. Hi. My name is Sue, also known as Crafty Knitter 7. I'm Carrie, also known as Jaded Knitter. And please come check us out on uh, RAV under Two Tangled Skeins. We have a group. Uh, also, we're on Blip, YouTube, and iTunes, all under Two Tangled Skeins, TWO. And our website, which all the show notes and all of that good stuff is on, is twotangledskeins.wordpress.com. And stuff, yes. And welcome to the snoring pod if you can't see him. I'll hear him. Yeah, because apparently he had a long weekend too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off by uh, some sponsors. Sure. Is that what we wanted to do? Okay. Okay. Because um, we have giveaways. We have giveaways. and November is going to be a good month, people. Yes, we actually have a giveaway for this week because yep. the, there's a reason for it. Because Halloween is coming and it's a Halloween themed uh, giveaway. Actually, I will dig it out because I put a pattern on top of it because, you know. So we got some stuff them. from Slip Stitch Studios, who is Laura Lundy. And this is her business card here. It's really, really cute. So Slip Stitch, Slip Stitch Studios Studios. Dot com, um, and, which is her new website, uh, yes. which I checked out. It is really nice. It's really nice. Easy to navigate, great pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just drool as soon as you go on it. And she sent us a couple of samples. I had been drooling over her stuff when I was watching Knit Me Happy with Rachel, the podcast. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I really was hoping she would send is one of these, it's a needle holder. So you have your socks in it and you've got your needles in here and it's got three snaps. So you stick DPNs or your cirques in there and it keeps it from coming unraveled. But the best thing about this bag too is it's got this little zipper. So you can have little things in the front, and if you flip it back, there's even more room in the back. So this is really, really nice, and it's a DPN holder, I believe is what she calls it. Yep, but the upside of those versus the, like I've got a lot of the standard DPN holders, is you can use that with the, the circs. Yeah. So like you can use it with any set of circs you want. Yeah. You can stick them in there so that they're they're so. not coming off and not going to poke through your bags. So basically your bags. I just took my cirques and I did this. And you can do that with one or two. Yeah, stuck it inside, snap the middle one first to hold it in place and and you just snap those and it's done. Yep. And you know you got your little notions in there and it keeps your sock or whatever handy. Or whatever it is you're using handy. So it's really nice. And it's padded enough that the signatures don't go through it. Yeah, exactly. Which is a bonus. Mm -hmm. Um and, and I guess, she sent a couple other things as yep. well, so... Uh, this is one of her... This is the small project bag? I think it's a small one, yeah. yes. So these are wonderfully constructed. They have a nice little pull tie on them. So you can tie it and... Oops. Kind of that would that. be operator error. Mm -hmm. um, handle, so you can either hook it onto your pants or over your wrist, which is something I really, really like. Um, fabric is gorgeous and bonus is it seems to be reversible yeah it's so. completely like i sew and it's completely done uh inside so you can't see any of the seams and it has pockets yeah so perfect for socks something small socks <laughs> shawl oh uh, yeah i guess you could squish your shawl in there very easily oh yeah i uh, just heck i could probably get most of a sweater into one of these yeah i can doubt it <laughs> She's watched me pack my purse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cringe. I don't watch, I cringe. But yeah, so it's really well made. She does really nice stuff. She has small, medium, large, like really large bags. And they oh, all, yeah. you can have the handle. You can ask for one pull tie. And I think you can have no handle. Like you can get specific on what it is you want. Oh, yeah. You can, you can select the pull tie or not or two or the handle. It's really, really nice. And these are, they're, it's nice heavy duty fabric. So again, mm -hmm. things like, you know, the signatures aren't going to go through this because it, it actually kind of feels like it's lined. It could be. So, but yeah, really yeah. nice. Yeah, and, and so to the giveaway. 
We also got a set of these, which I love these. I have a couple of sets um, myself and I adore them. They are pattern keepers. They're magnetic, so there's two sides to them. Um, I'm going to apologize if there's any glare because I, I don't want to take them out of no. the, the packaging. Um, and these ones are Halloween themed. So what you do with them is you just slip it onto your piece of paper or your chart keeper, which she makes really nice chart keepers too. Um, and you can have it right on the line. And there's, I believe there's three different yeah. sizes in here. I think Small, the, medium, and large. Yeah, the black one in here only goes to there. Yeah. And then this one actually is that long. And then you can see where this one is. <laughs> They're really nice. They are really nice. So we're mm -hmm. going to do a giveaway with these. And what you need to do to get this is we're going to start a thread on the board. Mm -hmm. So you have to go to the Two Tangled Skeins board. You have to be a member to do this. Yep. Um, and you check out her new website. We'll link so, her website. Yep. It is slipstitchstudios.com. Yep. Uh, I don't think... Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. That's her old one. No, that's um, not here. Slipstitchstudios.com. And I don't know how well that'll show up, but... It's close, but it's close. We'll have it linked in the thread. Yep. And basically, go to the go to her website, look at what she has, and tell us what's your favorite thing and why. Exactly. And, and next week we'll do our, our random number generator for these. So we'll be sending these out to someone, and they're really cute because they're um, little witches on brooms, <laughs> on uh, for the the large and the small. So yeah. they're really cute. So, uh -huh. yeah. So, yeah. And then, like we said, we do have, we actually have giveaways for the whole month of November. We do. So. Yeah, there's there lots, will be more. lots of stuff coming in. Lots of stuff going to be going out. Yep. It's going to be awesome because I can't, I contacted a bunch of people and just basically put it out there saying we'd like to review and give away and do all kinds of stuff. So we've already got stuff that's come in. Yep. So we're, we're getting stuff for you. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... But yeah, like I said, check them out. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. And we'll close the thread probably sometime next Sunday. Sunday or Saturday? Saturday. Uh, well, we record on Saturdays, so I would say Saturday at noon. Okay. We'll close the thread Saturday noon-ish. Yeah. Um, That's the 27th. Noon-ish, or maybe just before we record. Um, so try and get it in before Saturday kind yeah, of thing. Try and get it in before Saturday at noon, because we'll be cl closing within an hour or two after that. Yeah. That's usually when we record. Um, so on to stash acquisitions because, you know, we'll get to the stash acquisitions, then we'll get to Rhinebeck. Yeah. Yeah. Want me to start? Sure. You did? Okay. We have a local dyer who is called Art by Anna, and she has an Etsy site, and she is awesome. So put that up there. And I got a skein of, what is this called again? This is Art by Anna Cashmere Sock Party, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's 80... SW? A Merino 10 Cashmere 10 Nylon. What does the SW mean? I'm not sure. Sheep, no idea. Sheep wool? Possibly. And it's uh, really, really nice. And it's just so soft. It's going to be so nice on my feet. I think I'm going to... Yeah, there's nylon in it. So this is um, something that she's donated and I'm going to be knitting up something with it and most likely socks because it's just absolutely gorgeous. She dyes some really, really gorgeous party cakes. And if you go to www.artbyanna.etsy.com, we'll link it. And if you go and look uh, at her Etsy site, you'll see she has some really gorgeous stuff. So that's that's one of my stash acquisitions who is uh, who donated to us. Yep. And I actually have some as well. And I've got some giveaways from her. Um, mm -hmm. So... These two skeins, the green is lace weight, yep. and the uh, peachy, the peachy orange, orange, yep, is going to be uh, is sock weight, yep. Um, so it's both of those BFL sock, yes. Um, so both of these are going to be as giveaways, yep. and then I am going to design a pattern to go with her lace weight. Does it really? Go ahead. I have something to interject with. I'll let you finish it. Okay. So I'm going to design this and there will be a mystery cow for it in either January or February, depending on how long it takes me to design it. 
and it will be for either one or two skeins, like there'll be two sizes, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. <laughs> um, the funny thing is, when I was conversing with Anna by, uh, over Rav, she said, you know, do either one of you do the brackets scary lace stuff? And I replied to her, I'm like, well, I don't, but Carrie is insane enough to do it, so yes. And she's like, awesome, I would love to give some lace weight for her to knit with to let me know how it is. So. Yeah, she does this. I have her. actually knit with her lace before, and it is really lovely. And it's down her top. So, Anna, you are worthy. Yep. When it goes there, hang on. One more. Dude, um, it's not going to fit. Quite. There. Okay. It's worthy. Get it back. <laughs> yeah, she won't let me touch her wool for some reason. No, because she takes it away from me. Um, another stash thing I got is uh, I got a bag. Uh, we went to the Ottawa Knitting Guild. Was it the Knitting Guild? Vendor night? Yes, it was the Knitting Guild. And I got a bag from Lillian, who is Harpo716 on Ravelry. And it's a one of a kind, because she took some bits and put it together. So I got that. So you can go to go to her on Rav. I'll link her. And I think, I'm not sure if she's selling the bags online yet. I don't know. But she dyes yarn and she sells bags, so, you know, you can check her out. But I love it. It's a bigger, it's not the small box size, but it's really nice. That's all the local stuff, I think. Well, Slip Stitch Studios wasn't local, but that's, yeah. But, you know. Yeah. We've got... But she's our giveaway this week, so... Yes. And, uh, Slip Stitch Studios, yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go on to other things. Rhinebeck? Rhinebeck! So as you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt from Rhinebeck. I'm also wearing a beautiful um, pendant, glass pendant that I got. And who did we say the glass one was from? Uh, it's yes, pause. pause and reflect, handcrafted fused glass. And it's Tanya Brennan, who is the artist. So that's her business card there. And I will go and link her in the show notes, but she is at Pause and reflect, which is P A W S and reflect at me.com. So it's really nice. It's got a little sheep on it, and I'll take a closer picture so I can link it. It's got a nice, it's like a nylon almost rope, rope chain on it. So I really like it. I got another pendant as well, which is hopefully you can see that. Maybe it's stop it from moving. So that's a little pendant I got with a little sheep's head on it. And that is from Jenny the Potter. And she's at JennyThePotter.com. So we'll link that in the show notes. And yeah, it's, it's really cute. That's not the same person we got our mugs from, right? No. Okay. Different. We got mugs and stitches, so I was wondering. And the next thing I got was a bag. So I got myself a big project bag. They had small, medium, and large, but only large and small were available. Oh, but you got your own. Oh, you have your own bag. Stop it. <sighs> Next, I got some Wild Apple Hill Farm, 100% wool, and I actually have some of this as well. I just I got two, so one is in the teddy bear color, <laughs> teddy bear, and oatmeal. And you got a lighter color, right? Yeah, I got their just their natural undyed. Yeah, uh, so I got those, and they are at. Wild Apple Hill at AOL.com and so I'm going to make two pairs of socks one pair each of these big huge skeins. I was going to make Sean, if they're for my husband, I was going to make him a hat but he finds them too scratchy and said he'll wear them on his feet instead which makes absolutely no sense to me. The next thing I got is some yarn from Gail's Art so I got this uh, sock yarn Sock yarn, superwash sock yarn, and it's the blood colorway. So I got that for my friend Selma, who's going to be knitting the falling leaves, which is Carrie's pattern, with this, so it's going to be really nice. It's made out of 90% superwash wool and 10% nylon. So that's really nice. Also from Gale, I got some blue face luster and the ashes colorway. Actually, we, we both, both got did. some. And so she is at uh, galesart.com, and we will link her in the show notes. And that's her business card there. And it's called Ashes. Yep. And, and it's squishy. There's two. We're both going to be spinning fuzzy. that up. Yep. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What else did I get? 
I went to, oh yes, Bittersweet. Uh, I, get one, I got two at Bittersweet. So Bittersweet, it's called Crave Color. So Tina Martinez is the dye mistress is what it's called, what it says on the back. So we will link that in the show notes as well. I got this color just because of the name and because it's kind of the fall colors. It's called Shagalicious. How could I not buy it? It was that or Blimey. Blimey was yellow. I didn't think I'd do well with yellow. So it's these orange and fall colors. It's just, oh, gorgeous. It's crushing. Lynn told me we got some of that as well. Then I also got the next color. This is like the Sioux show. Yeah, it's called Pompeii, which is, there. it's the Guilty Pleasures line that they have. Um, Superwash sock yarn. So these are, you know, grays with a little bit of lighter grays and it kind of reminds me of clouds actually. But it's so soft. Top worthy? Probably. So, talked about those. I seem to have gotten a lot more stash than Carrie. Um, yes, I'll continue. I got a skein from Miss Babs and it's called Biker Chick. And there seems to be a theme here because as you will see, there are grays and oranges in this. And this is a whopping, oh, where's the yardage on it? It was like 500, 560 yards. And what would you say? That's not sock, is it? That's a heavy sock fingering. Six to eight, so uh, maybe a DK. Maybe a DK, but I got 560 yards. And there's a shawl I want to do that our friend Sarah Soho 30 did. Um, and I want to do the same shawl pattern. So, Miss Babs, I hope everybody knows about Miss Babs. If not, go to MissBabs.com and uh, we will link that in the show notes as well. Yeah, I still have lots here, so bear with me. Socks at Rock which is Blue Moon Fiber Arts. We went to the booth that was The Fold and Tony Neal is the person who owns The Fold and it's The Fold ATMC.net which is, that's the card there. I will link it and I got this beautiful green. And, and I, mean, I will just say that Tony is a great guy. Oh he's, he's hilarious, hilarious because I walked by and I'm like I shouldn't get green, I shouldn't get green. And when I walked up the cash he's like I thought you said you weren't getting green. And I'm like, well, but I don't know. And he looked around because he had these other, because I said it's for falling leaves pattern and I need something, I want something solid. So he says, I had this great and there's no more. He looks over at me and goes, I can't let you leave with green. And I yelled over at Karen, I'm like, well, she's the designer. And what did you say to him? It's my pattern and she's knitting with that or something? Yeah, And something he was really like punchy and he was like, okay, we're not going to go there. Like, you just take the green and go, lady, kind of thing. But it's beautiful. I want to say it's, olives but it's darker than that no it's 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 in the olives range and i think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous well actually i shouldn't say that because i have seen olives in that color yeah but um, it's just you can't get them in this country in that color no no like there's darker bits and there's even some that they want to tinge to yellow but they don't like oh yeah it's gorgeous oh boy i got a lot of stuff that's my art by anna you don't need to see that again and then Lynn told Baby bought me a skein of yarn that's called Half Pipe. And it's got greens and blacks and bright greens. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is from Steam Valley, Steam Valley Fiber Farm. And you can find them at steamvalleyfiber.com. That's their card there. And of course, we'll link them in the show notes. Sean's hat and Carrie's sweater. Oh, she was writing a note about the other yes. sweater yarn. Never mind. Squirrel. I went to the Lisa Souza um, booth and I was looking at the green and the orange and I don't know what it is right now and gray. I'm looking at greens, nah, oranges and gray and then this pops into my hand. All I could think of was gnomes. Blink. All I could think of was gnomes and when I thought of gnomes I thought of my husband because he loves gnomes and I hate gnomes. Whether or not he'll wear anything, I give up. <laughs> Whether or not he'll wear anything that I make in that, I'm really not sure, but it's down her top. Not much I can do about it. So I showed you Plenty that. Plenty she can do about it. There's just nothing I got she'll some do on camera. Fiber, so I got my second bat of loop, 
with sparkle because Stephanie convinced, uh, Stephanie, one of Stephanie's peep, peeps, I guess I should say, convinced me to go with some sparkle. So I got Stephanie this. Stephanie being the owner of Loop? Oh, sorry, the owner of Loop, but one of her peeps convinced me to get sparkle because I said I always get greens and browns, but I never get sparkle. So she said, here's some greens and some browns and some sparkle, and it's called Clover. It's got merino, nylon, and angelina. So I'm going to be spinning me some Loop, which is really great. And I got a drive band. I can spin again. <laughs> yes, she can spin it's, again. Yeah, it's been a month and my dry band's still not showing up from Spin Illusions. So, not impressed. But Spin Illusions was there. Or, no, it sorry, was. Sorry, between you and me. Between you and me uh, was there. And they actually are a dealer for Spin Illusions. And she had a singular drive band kit on her. But tell her whose it was. Um, it was actually hers mm -hmm. and she had broken it open to fix um, a drive band on her wheel. Tiny. Uh, there's little teeny tiny ones that keep the foot um, rest in place while it's you know in tra while you're moving it around mm -hmm. and quite frankly if I need to replace those I will replace it with a regular elastic. I'm okay with that. Okay. She had the two big drive bands in perfect, like they'd never been used. They were fresh out of the package. I'm like, please, can I buy it? She said, and she's ten bucks. Yes. Ten bucks. I'm good. So yes, and it is Lynn Dupuis, which I'm probably thank you, Lynn. No, thank I'm you, Lynn. Right. No, no, no. I know I'm pronouncing it well right. for Canada, but maybe not for yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they're really nice woman, really knowledgeable. So if you are looking for anything uh, from Spin Illusions or whatnot, check them out. So it's uh, between you, so E, uh, what is it, E W E, -E and me uh, dot uh, weebly.com. We'll link that one because it's it's kind of strange. But yeah, we'll, I'll they'll all be linked. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to try and finish up quickly. But I've got a spin again. couple more things. I got some, um, this is BFL, from a spot called Spinner's Hill. So I got myself six ounces. And there's a story to this. Um, I had met Emily from What Just Watching at the Podcasters Meetup. And she came up beside me while I was there and said, Ooh, what you getting? Can I enable you? And I said, well, only if I can enable you. I was going to get half a pound before she came up. And she said, well, she was only going to get six ounces. So I got six ounces, she got six ounces, and I'm going to make a trip to D.C. And we're going to dye it together. So, yeah, it's really, really gorgeous stuff. Spinner's Hill, and I will link that in the show notes. And thank you to everyone who stopped us and said hi. That yeah, was that was like, yee! Oh my god, chills. It was just like, and we were, I was kind of shocked when people stopped because I didn't, I didn't connect the show and us. Like, I didn't think yeah. people would recognize us. And of course, I was wandering around with massive sunglasses on, so you weren't going to recognize me anyway. <laughs> and the last thing I got was, I was in a swap. Um, now I can't even remember the swap. Ew La La, E-W-E La La is a group. And I was in the ball and bag swap. And my person, who is Closed Knit Boutique, um, sent me this gorgeous bag. It's got this really huge handle on it, and it's got two big pockets, like really, really big pockets in there. And there's a little loop where you can put your yarn through, and there's a pocket on the front, and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's got a hard bottom, and it's orange. Jeez, what a trend. She didn't even know I liked orange. She also sent me some, the tag came off, some Malabrigo, and it is their Kettle Dye Pure, I think it's the sock. Yeah, Malabrigo sock. So yeah, oranges again. I'm just loving it. And she also hand spun some BFL Calatrera, 400 yards. So she hand spun that for me. So that's not going towards Carrie because she's going to try and take it home. And I, I want... might have already tried to walk yeah, off and it once. I probably took up a lot of time there, so I'll, uh, I'll knit and I'll let you go because you're probably right in the middle of a spot you can't finish or you can't stop. It's round. There really is no... True. Very true. I'm back to knitting on my uh, Even Star again. I'm doing two... Oh shoot, I threw the... Oh well, whatever. Um, I'm doing two of the... Camden? Camden cap. Uh, for a friend of mine. 
and I don't actually have those with me, so I will show them to you later. Yeah. And let's see here, where was I going with this? Nope, that is my pattern. These are, I guess I have to give these back. Yes. Um, one of the things that I saw people, I saw a lot of people wandering around with these. They are handmade baskets, and it's, um, I forget what they said they were made out of. And I am a really bad podcaster because I completely forgot to get the name of the store. I'm sure somebody will tell you on Rhinebeck. Probably. Rhinebeck thread. I'm sure yeah. you'll be able to find it. Because... You were just so excited that you got a basket. Exactly. I've been looking for a basket for my knitting and to carry around stuff in for quite a while. Carrie here when she... Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. Carrie here when she comes to record. Like I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Not uh, for me. <laughs> oh, just from everybody else. Mm, sorry. Either way, these were really useful and lovely. I have to wet it down and shape it because um, I wanted to use it while I was at Rhinebeck, so I didn't get them to do it for me. Yeah, because um, he was basically sitting there dunking baskets like constantly. Yeah, they figured they, um, I think they ran out before the end of the first day of these baskets, and they were really shocked at that. Were they so I was make, talking to making them? them? On the uh, spot? No, no, no. They had brought them with them. These are all handmade, it though. It became the big ticket item. Yeah, because you saw everyone everywhere. wandering. Kind of kick with them. myself now for not getting one, so I'd like to know where they came from. I'll figure it out. You know what? Post a thread in the Rhinebeck group. Someone will tell us. Oh yeah. Or I'll do that. Or that. You know, because I am your slave. <laughs> yes. That. I don't know how that happened, but sure. Um, and then the one thing that I, I absolutely squealed when I saw them and then didn't think I'd be able to get them was the uh, Kitri socks. And they are by, let me double check who, it doesn't actually say. Um, I think I have a business card in the other bag. Yeah. Sorry. I'll, it's the, yeah. the person who designs them, um, the company's called Sarina of Socks. And, um, very small picture. That's the toe of one of them. That's perfect one. And the, it was something that, um, Karen from Round the Twist had done, I think, a couple of years ago now. I Karen. And they're in this absolutely gorgeous red with a black lace around the cuff with beads. They're so you. Because. I came around the corner. Where was I? I was buying something. Yeah, you were over on the other side of the building. And buying I came something. around and it this, like, Carrie's quite tall, so you can see her from far away. And there was nothing but teeth. It was the biggest smile, yeah, but it was even more cheerful than that. Yeah. Um, um, so I got that and I got a bag and the same wool that Sue was showing, the brown and the cream. Mm -hmm. Mine's actually more of a cream. Yeah. So I'm going to make the, I think it's called the orangey sweater. It's okay, Gadget. Off of Nitty. Sorry if you hear my, bar my dog's, it's my bark's it's dogging. It's I can speak. My dog's barking. My husband's probably home or someone's at the door. Yep. Um, um, and what else did I get? I also got this, which is from uh, Seldridge Farms. And these are, this is actually a Canadian company. They're out of... Sheldridge. Uh, yes, that. Sheldridge Farms. They're out of um, Durham, Ontario. Ooh, I hear road trip. Because, you know, and road trips, we like them. Yeah, I saw it and I looked at it and I went, okay, this is mine. Um, I was debating actually using this towards the sweater, but then I found the other stuff. So I'm going to use that instead. Mm -hmm. So you but, can make something else with that. Yeah. Because this is actually nice and soft, so I will probably do something like make a nice warm hat. Sorry for the jiggling, I dropped a stitch. So what was the other big thing we did on Saturday? Got Carrie drunk? No, during the day, the two of us. <laughs> wow. Back up, start over. We went to the podcasters meetup. Oh yeah, that. They and did get we, me drunk too, but that was that later, was later. In the night. She got herself drunk. I did not hold a bottle to her mouth. And those are stories that are not allowed to be told. She may or may not have bought any alcohol. Me. <laughs> so we met Emily from What She's Watching. We, we met saw Laura, Laura again. And Leslie we from met. The Knit Girls. Uh, we got to meet Karen. Hey, Karen's getting married. Ooh, chills. 
<laughs> yes, she is in, in three weeks. weeks now. Too. Yeah, three weeks. We saw Amy and Darren, and yeah, that was cute. So I think that was it. He's so cute. He is. Like he's, you know, and he's wearing the sweater and pictures and. I think that and was it. We got to meet a lot of fans, so. We yeah, that was very you. odd. People walking up to you, and I'm just like, okay, hi. Oh yeah, we have a podcast. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, we got a lot of keep do keep keep it up. You're doing a great job. So you know we're just being ourselves. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's all about stash. Yep. And oh, I oh, have the other okay. thing. I have another thing to say after you. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Um, I actually I was in a swap with the pug lovers group because you know I love my me a pug. I don't know where mine and is. And she sent my uh, swap partner who is Kate. Um, actually sent both Sue and I these absolutely adorable... My name's actually in the letter. It is. Um, project bags. Mm -hmm. So these things are wonderful and they have puppies on them. And they have pugs on them. That is a pug. Yep. So. And there was a lot of other really good stuff in the box too. But I can smell it from here. And so the last thing I want to say is my New York Sheep and Wolf Festival um, planner thingy that, you know, I'll catch you. you get. Well, on the back of this, and this is for Crystal, who is Chris5797 on Rab. This is your autograph from Stephanie Pearl McPhee. Because I stalked and looked for the woman all weekend, then Lynn pointed her out, I screamed out her name, and scared her. So, yeah, she did. She, she does love us Canadians. And, you know, the reason we say stalking is because. Lynn, Sarah, and Carrie. Oh, four of us. Well, I took one class from her. Lynn ended up taking four. You no, took... I took four. Lynn took two. She took one with me and two with you. So three. Anyways, they we all took classes from her this summer. And, um, yeah, but she said as Canadians, what did she say? We're mostly harmless. Mostly harmless. So Which is true. Your autograph, my dear. So that was just for you. So that's it. Wah! And I have a squirmy pug. Say hi, Sir Pugs, and then we can go. Pug! Yep. Who's wondering what the heck is going on? Mm -hmm. Alright, bye!